A solemn day. Today marks 25 years since the world lost Princess Diana. And today admirers were outside the gates of Kensington Palace in London where Princess Diana lived to pay their respects to her. They left flowers, pictures, posters. Someone even brought a cake here. 25 years ago, Princess Diana was riding in a car with her boyfriend in Paris as the paparazzi chased them. The driver lost control of the car and crashed. Her death was followed by a massive outpouring of grief. She was only 36 years old. We will never forget the princess. We will never forget what she done. And we just want her legacy kept, like, going as long as possible. In Paris, people also paid their respects. The Flame of Liberty stands above the tunnel where the crash happened, and people there left flowers and messages. It was heartbreaking the day it happened. It was a tragic loss for so many. She was the, the people's princess. She was down to earth, real and it was such a tragedy. Kelly Brothers went to London to cover Princess Diana's death for KCRA 3 News back in 1997. He joins us live now. So Kelly, what do you remember the most in those days right after it happened? It was, uh, yeah, it was a piece of history. I remember the call I got at home from our news director at the time, Ed Chapuis, saying, uh, we have no idea how big this story is gonna get. We need you to get to London. So. Myself and uh, Mike Williams were on the next flight, of our, our KCRA photographer, and uh, it was uh, just truly historic, the, the outpouring and the confusion about how England, how the royal family was going to react. Remember that uh, Charles and Diana had been through a very messy, very public divorce, and obviously she was still the mother of the future king. Uh, William and, and William and Harry, of course, and I'll never forget the incredible poise those two uh, young men showed as they walked behind their mother's casket uh, during that procession on the day of the funeral. That was astounding. Also, something that comes back to, to mind is the fact that a lot of people forget it was about two days later we lost Sister Teresa of Calcutta. And I remember one British woman saying, the two most revered and beloved mm. women on the planet and we lose them within a few days of each other mm -hmm. um and so, so that was part of that week as well but mm. uh overall it was um it was just a moment uh in history and it was i was just so privileged just to even be close by and of course we know people from all over the world went to pay their respects what was it like to see that outpouring of emotion from people all over the world to to yeah, be there the, yeah you're right the and the emotion was was real i mean the 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 tears coming down the faces of these people as they made their way to kensington mm -hmm. palace or they made their way to Buckingham Palace. And initially they didn't even fly the flag at half staff. And I don't know if you saw that movie, uh, The Queen, it came out about 10 years after Diana's death, but it was all about the interplay of the royal family and Tony Blair and to how the royal family was gonna recognize this event and how they were going to try to protect the two young boys at the same time. Uh, it was it was a well done film, but in the, in the moment, it, I mean, just a, a shockingly open display of emotion that people were ju just heartbroken at this. It wasn't, this is sad. It was, no, this is devastating. I mean, a lot of people don't remember that she was 36 years old, a very, very young person at the time with her whole life ahead of her. And if she had ever, and she had put her celebrity uh, to great use around the world for landmines, for the eradication of landmines and poverty. But if she, if she had really gotten into it, who knows what Diana could have done in her future years. Mm -hmm. It was a it was a huge week, emotion filled week. Yeah, yeah, such a huge loss for for the world because you're right. I mean, she did so much in just you know her 30 something years. Who knows what she would have gone on to do? Um, yeah, and her poor sons who lost their mom at such a young age. Kelly Brothers, thanks for your perspective and sharing your recollection with us. We appreciate it. My pleasure. I was happy to go and happy to do it.